Hi everybody, it's Anthony here with a quick tip on how to save passwords in the Chromium app on your Promethean board. I've gotten a request from some teachers uh, asking how to do this because it's kind of annoying to have to enter in your username and password to websites that you frequently use uh, when you're up here teaching. So uh, it is something that you can do and it's really easy to set up. But I do want to give one disclaimer before I start showing you how to do that. Um, it, I want you to make sure that you consider that the, the Promethean board is publicly accessible in your classroom. Students can come up and use it, other adults can come up and use it, and when they do, if you don't have different profiles set up, they're going to have access to your Google Drive and to any saved passwords that you have on your board. So you do want to consider making use of the different users and profiles that you have the ability to set up on your Promethean board. It's really easy to do. Remember, in your unified menu, you have your profile icon here. You're going to tap on that and then tap on the gear to change the settings and add users to the board. It's really easy to do. You just tap add user and then you can add other adults in your classroom, a separate account for students or whatever. Like I said before, just so that you don't have to give other people access to your files in Google Drive or your saved passwords. So just consider that before you set this up on your board. Um, but uh, otherwise, here's what you got to do. So we're going to go back to the Chromium app on a Promethean board. And in the upper right hand corner, we've got the three dots here. That's going to be where you're going to find all your, med your menu items, your settings. So we're going to go to settings here. And you see the second one down here is passwords. So we're going to tap on that to access our password settings. And as you can see here, your default setting for saved passwords is off. So to turn that on, all we do is we take this little sliding switch and we slide that on. The other setting that's available in here is auto sign in. And what that's going to do is that's going to automatically sign you into any websites that you have saved passwords for, which can be convenient. I prefer not to do it because I want to tap sign in when I see that the username and the password has been entered, um, just for my own personal knowledge, I guess. Um, so I prefer to leave this setting off, uh, but that's totally up to you. As you save passwords on your board, you're going to see them listed down here below where you can edit or delete them as needed. And then you can certainly turn off this feature at any time by repeating the same process. Um, and that's it. So I hope you found that helpful. If you need help with this or any other ed tech items for your classroom, let me know. Happy to help at any time. Hope you have a great day.